Okay, so in this video we're going to be discussing how to download and install a post processor for the laser uh, for Vectric products, uh, VCarve and Aspire. So if we go to jtechphotonics.com and go to the software drop down here, you notice there's going to be Vectric laser module post processors and Vectric non-laser module post processors. There's two different versions of Vectric um, for using the laser. Uh, the non-laser uh, non module post processors are going to be the older style where you're going to be using an end mill uh, to, to basically fake it, the laser. Uh, you're going to use an end mill with a teeny uh, tiny spot to it so you can see where we're setting it up. Um, it's going to, the diameter of the end mill is going to be the uh, spot size of the laser, the curve of the laser. Um, and your, your spindle speed is the power and your feed rate obviously is your feed rate. Um, so for downloading the post processor here, we are going to choose, let's just, so we have a lot of different um, machines here. Uh, it's pretty easy. This is gonna go to uh, like JRBL. So these are for like X cars, Shapeocos, um, Millwrights, uh, all those machines. So if I download, I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna say save link as, and it pops up um, it pops up a bunch of different stuff here for where to save it. I'm just going to save it in my downloads. Um, so I'm going to save this and you see that it, it saves here. Uh, and then we can go and we can open up uh, our Vectric uh, and we can go to uh, machine install post processor. So we're going to install our post processor here. Um, it's going to ask where is our post processor. We just put in the downloads. This is the JTEC JRBL post processor we just downloaded. So we're going to put this here. We're going to open it up and say, would you like to make this post processor default? No, we don't. Uh, we're going to use our CNC post processor as the default one. Now, the post processor installed, but how do we get to it? Uh, we are going to go and configure our machine and we're going to configure our machine uh, as this one's just called, that's called, and this one's just desktop. So down here are the associated pros, post processes with your particular machine. Ours is just called this, you know, yours will be called something else. You can make different machines on Vectric and have them in this drop down. Each machine can have a different post process associated with it. So choose your machine that you have. And we'll go down to the post process section. We're going to go press this plus button. And there it is, JTEC GRBL dynamic laser mode. That's the one we just downloaded. I'm going to select it and we're going to apply and say okay now now we already have a tool path here i'm just going to delete this one um just delete this one delete this okay so we have some vectors here um we have them selected so if we're going to use the old post processor way it would be the quick engrave tool path and you can see after you go through this stuff um you can see that you can select your dynamic laser mode post processor here. Sometimes it won't um, show up here. And in that case, we can go and close it here and we can save it here and it will show up here. Um, but then we can go press and save it and save toolpath and it will pop up your save toolpath. That's how you do it on the old version. Okay, so let's now say we don't have, uh, we, we actually are using the laser module uh, and laser module is the Vectric laser module has these two other tool paths. It's the laser cut and fill and the laser picture. Um, let's go back to the website and we can see that there's the laser module post processor. So if you purchase that, I think it's, it's, you know, under $60 or something, it's 40, 50, I'm not too sure how much it is, but if you purchase this laser module from Vectric as an add on plugin, then it is going to add those two, uh, the two, tool pass here, the uh, laser picture and the laser cut and fill. Laser picture really only works for GRBL based machines. Um, you know, if you have something else uh, like a ShopBot or a, a Laguna or any of these other ones, they're going to not have the laser picture part work for it. It's going to be um, something specific. Uh, you know, the, some of these other machines do like Onefinity does to uh, allow to use the picture one, but we're going to download the GRBL one. So we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to copy the link address or not, sorry, copy. We're going to save the link ad address and we're going to save it into our downloads. And then we're going to go into here and we're going to go machine, uh, machine, no, not machine configuration. We're going to go machine install post processor. 
And we're going to select this one as JTEC JRVLC. No, that's, do you want to make a default? No, we're not going to make a default. So we're going to go up to machine, machine configuration. Let's put this post processor in here now too. So let's go and say this one. So the JTEC JRVL laser inch is the one for laser mode. I'm going to apply that and press OK. So now let's go and see um, if we have this vector here. I'm going to do the laser cut and fill this time. Um, we have a laser cutter. We have this laser cutter here. That's actually a laser cutter tool. Um, that's what you get with the laser module. And it's you're going to see the 14 watt laser in here with a curve of 0 0.006. Um, we're doing 80% power and move speed and maximum burn rate. So the laser module really gets you to clean up your laser um, tool in your tool path, uh, in your tool database, uh, the laser tools and allows you to put laser tools in. So I'm going to select this tool. We're just going to cut on the outside and um, we're just going to call it a laser cut one. I can now select a post processor here and share. There it is. So this one is JTEC GRBL and it's in because we have the laser module, it is associated with the laser module and it knows that this tool path will work for this. I can um, save my tool path right here or I can press calculate. It's gonna calculate this and it's going to then be able to save it here as well. So we can see that we can do the GRBL laser and we can save the tool path here and you can save it to your computer. So that's the basic gist of how to install a post-processor with um, Vectric, uh, um, vcarve or aspire version 11 it has to do with these machine configurations and and adding it to your machine configuration um, if there's any questions please feel free to contact jtech photonics and we will help you walk you through it thanks